Hey, John, what do you have when you take a court attorney who has a way with words and put her in the pulpit? Well, you get a Kathy McShane delivering super sermons. Pastor Kathy, John and I see how, with God's grace, you have taken our minds and challenged us to think via sermons, Zoom discussions, retreats, and many more things. You've taken our hands and hearts for change making, Compassion Week, and reaching out to groups in our community. You, you have, have truly, truly set, set us on fire. on fire. So, Anne, what do you get if Kathy McShane gives only 10% of the love and care that she gave to all of us at LAUMC to her vines? You will have a very fruitful vineyard. We love you. Thank you so much. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. We hope you have a great retirement. Uh, it's not goodbye because we know where you live. We all know where you live, and you know that we're all going to be visiting you anyway. So, But I uh, just wanted to wish you uh, a nice uh, trip for this next part. Exactly. We're so glad you were with us at the Los Altos United Methodist Church. Really enjoyed your sermons. Really glad we got a chance to get to know you. And we're sad to see you go, but we know that this isn't a hard goodbye, that hopefully our paths will cross again in the future. We wish you all the best. Happy retirement. Happy retirement. Kathy, Bonnie and John Walker here. We just wanted to say thank you for all of your counsel, your guidance, and your strength and frankly, just for being you over the last five years as you guided LAUMC. And thank you, Kathy, for performing at our wedding ceremony almost four years ago. It was beautiful and we loved having you share it with us. And may you have the wind at your back as you sail off into retirement. Best wishes on a wonderful retirement. Pastor Kathy, it has been a real pleasure to have had you as pastor of our church. I wish to again thank you for the love and support that you personally extended to Leslie and I in her final days. I believe I can speak for Leslie in saying that you have been a blessing to both of us. You really meant the world to Leslie in more ways than you may be aware. I believe that LAUMC has also greatly benefited from having you as a pastor in our collective spiritual journey. You have challenged us all to be Christian theologians in questioning our thoughts speech, and actions in God's world. LEUMC's emphasis on connection, compassion, and courage has begun to bear fruit and will shine bright in the community for years to come, thanks to your leadership. Thank you for all the years of service to the LEUMC community. We will truly miss your leadership as pastor and your kindness and compassion as a friend. You will be remembered very fondly I wish you a happy and joy-filled retirement. Aloha, we've got a song for you. I, I want to go, go back to my little wine shack in Paso Robles, California. California. We wish you all the best, Pastor Kathy. We treasured you as friend, as colleague, and as a sojourner along the way. Blessings to you, my friend. Pastor Kathy. You have been such a blessing to our congregation, the community at large, and me. Thank you for your insightful leadership over the years and for taking such good care of your flock. It is truly amazing all the positive changes and outreach programs and partnerships you've established so that all may flourish. You touched my heart from the very first day we met. I am blessed and grateful for our close connection. You bring the message of God's word alive in so many ways. I am always inspired by your awesome sermons. They have uplifted and taught me so much. I often feel like you're speaking directly to me and what's happening in my life at the time. How do you do that? Your eloquent sermons are my weekly reset and I always come away from church feeling comforted, more positive, and blessed going into the week ahead. I am so grateful for your prayers and support over the years. Your personal visits and phone calls have given me hope, 
strength and courage to face the challenging times in my life. I don't know what I would have done without your love and guidance. A truly great pastor like you is hard to find, difficult to let go of, and impossible to forget. The vacancy you'll leave behind may be filled in, and the position you had may be held by others, but you're simply irreplaceable in my heart. I love you dearly and will miss you so much. As the dawn, as the day dawns on the next chapter in your life, I wish you the best in all of your endeavors. May God grant you all the desires of your heart and make all your retirement dreams come true. You deserve nothing less for all the love and support you've given other, others over the years. You will continue to be in my prayers as God uses you wherever he calls. Have fun and enjoy life. I will miss you terribly, but look forward to visiting you in the future. Thank you, Kathy, for being you. Kathy, uh, I don't even have the right words to say how grateful I am to have been your friend and partner these past few years. Um, I've learned from you, you have comforted me, and we've had the chance to work through some challenges together. I so admire your passion and energy for guiding organizations to make change for good in the world. You are an example to me of what a thinking person of faith can be. And you've inspired me to embrace the opportunity to be a neighbor and all that that might mean. I wish you so much happiness and I look forward to hearing more about your future adventures. Love you. Hi, Kathy. So June 30th is coming. It's coming. It's coming soon. Um, and I'm excited for you with this next phase of your life. Um, there's, as you already know, there's going to be so many great opportunities for you, um, both professionally and just personally. And I am excited uh, for you to be able to pursue those. Um, I just want to share with you just how... Um, special this time has been for me um, to work with you and partner with you in our work at LAUMC. Um, I really, I have just the utmost respect and admiration for you and your leadership style and, um, and have just thoroughly enjoyed working for you. I do think we've accomplished a lot um, and we should feel um, very good about that. But um, you're very special to me, and I look forward to a continued friendship long after our um, time at LAUMC. Um, and uh, I just just want you to know how much I care about you. All right? So congratulations on your retirement, and um, I can't wait to see what's in the next chapter. Bye. Hello, Pastor Kathy. You not only been my pastor while you were here, but a good friend as well. Thank you, thank you so much for the advice that you gave me and love during Wendell's passing. I appreciate it so much. I will miss you greatly, but I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Good luck. Hi, Kathy. It's Ellen Petrel. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I'm so glad you came to this church for me and for our church. Every week I've learned something new from you. Your thoughtful and vulnerable and opening and idea filled sermons. Big things, little things, things that I've written down, things that I'll hold on to and say and save and try. Things like we can find God in the smallest things or we could be the, the nard for the world. Or today's sermon, we need to get up and try again to do God's work, even though it feels useless. You've brought innovation to our church in big ways and in smallish ways. Like smallish, like changing our three sermons on Sunday mornings to two and two adult choirs to one. Brilliant. And huge things like change makers. Amazing. And the Mountain View Trinity Church, you've done, you and our church have done great work there. 
Thank you. Thank you for that. And because of you, I'm inspired and more involved. I'm on the board of trustees, thanks to you. And this summer, I'm volunteering for the Vacation Bible School for little kids, preschoolers to first grade. I can't wait. I know your next adventures are going to be awesome. And you'll have you'll have a great time. But I'll miss you. We'll make it. But you've done so much for me. I just wanted to share that. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you, Pastor Kathy. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us. Thank you for your many examples of connection and compassion and courage. And thank you for inspiring us to try to find new ways to share God's love with the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for introducing me to the writings of Richard Rohr. And thank you so much for introducing us to Peter Ann's writing as well. And thank you so much for being the steady lighthouse in the dreary days of the pandemic. Thank you. Thank you for being awesome! <laughs> we, the Esper family, were new to the Bay Area. I moved in first. I first lived in San Francisco and in the East Bay, so I was able to attend at least three Methodist churches in those areas. When my family moved in with me, we first stayed in Cupertino at the height of the pandemic, and we were looking for a church to attend to. I began researching into the websites of nearby churches and found Los Altos. I began listening to Pastor Kathy's sermon archives, and I was immediately drawn to her. I immediately told my husband, Han, listen to the sermon of this pastor. From then on, we listened to her sermons online every Sunday. And here we are, full members of this church. There is something with Pastor Kathy that draws me towards her. Maybe it's her grace or her eloquence or her passion. Maybe it's how she chooses her words, how it vividly describes tells a story or calls us to action. Maybe it's her presence. How powerful is her calmness, the elegance of her style, or the friendliness or the charm of her smile. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the wisdom she exudes through the vast amount of books she reads, the variety of topics she exemplifies in her sermons, or just merely how God uses her intellect to Choose sermons that give insight towards compassion, belongingness, truth, change, and action. Those are just some of the words that ring a bell every time I attend church here. We were new, but she already gave me a special task during the pandemic Lenten season. That was a special assignment for me. I also appreciate that she was a part of Gianna's confirmation journey. I would miss her as my pastor, but I know she would always be nearby as a friend. Thank you for everything, Pastor Kathy. So, our family would like to bless Pastor Kathy's retirement period with good health, peace of mind, time to do the remaining things in her bucket list, more opportunities to do fun things, more chances to learn things that she should know better, and quality time with God, friends, and family. God bless you, Pastor Kathy. Hi, Kathy. This is Howard and Ruby Lee. We love you as our senior pastor, Kathy, at LAUMC, and we will miss you very much. We attended all your sermons through Zoom from Princeton all through the pandemic. We really liked your sermons, which we found very relevant and meaningful. You've been a real blessing to our congregation, and we are sad to see you go. We, we wish, wish you all, all the best, best and, and God's, God's blessings. Happy, Happy retirement, retirement, Kathy. We love you from Patty, Jerry, Nicole, <laughs> and Krista. Hi, Kathy. You light up our lives with our with your wonderful, thought-provoking, uh, inspirational uh, messages not only at the pulpit on Sunday, but through socials, through funerals, through weddings, through classes like our brown bags and Bibles. We are going to miss you so much, but are very happy for you in your next chapter of life. Good luck. 
Hi Kathy, this is Jeannie from Colorado. I just want to tell you how much our relationship has meant to me, your friendship, your support, your comfort. I know you share that with many people and I know we will continue that. And I very much am grateful for all that you've done for me and my family. Wishing you all the best as you continue with your next chapter. Hi, Reverend Kathy. On behalf of myself and my wife, Anna, we want to congratulate you on your upcoming retirement. During your time at LAUMC, you've been super. So with love and gratitude, we want to wish you only happiness and the best moving forward. Kathy, we're going to miss you. You've been such a great leader and minister for us. And I thank you for all of your patience and perseverance and and forgiveness with me and I I wish you the very best and I'm so thankful that you got to spend the end of your church ministry with us here at Los Altos. Hi Kathy, this is Jan and <laughs> just wanting to wish you a wonderful, wonderful new life in Paso Robles. We will miss you and you have just been the best friend and the best pastor and you just weren't here long enough. <laughs> Ken, is there anything you want to say? Well, to it's really, uh, we're, we're very fortunate to have you. We will miss you, yep. but we want to send you best wishes and just a wonderful, wonderful, many wonderful golden years yet yeah. ahead of you. You have so much to offer the world and the community around you, and they are so lucky to get you down there. But we, we all want you to be, we all want you to, do well and um, continue spreading your love. Yep. Is that right, Ken? That's right. <laughs> All righty. Bye, Kathy. We love you. Hi, Pastor Kathy. Lisa Sherrard here. My sidekick is not here. He's in North Carolina, so Winston sends his love and is so sorry that he's not able to be here for the big weekend celebration. Um, uh, there's so much I'd like to say to you, but, um, you know, I've been a member of LAUMC for more than uh, 50 years, and you are by far my favorite minister, and I appreciate you so much. I wanted to let you know that I just thank you from the bottom of, of my heart for being there for us and for helping celebrate my mom's life. That was really, really special to our whole family and it was lovely. I couldn't have asked for a better funeral. Funeral, In fact, I had family members say, that was the best funeral I've ever been to. So um, it wouldn't have been the same without you. So thank you so much. And I wish you nothing but happiness going ahead in your life and being there with your sister and sharing new memories and Everyone, of course, will miss you terribly, so hopefully our paths will meet again. But I love you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, Pastor Kathy. Lynn and Mike McCoy here. Thank you for all that you've done for Los Altos United Methodist Church. And have a great retirement. Hi, Kathy. Carl and Marguerite, ad living a message because we want to make sure that you feel the love, all of the love that we have for you. Thank you for all of your grace, your guidance, especially during these difficult times and good times. We love you and we appreciate everything you've done for us and this flock that you lead. So we're sending you off with tons of love, virtual hugs, blessings. Good luck on your wonderful new adventure. We cannot wait to come experience it with you and we look forward to seeing you at a winery in Paso Robles soon. Love you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Pastor Kathy, what I most appreciated about your messages is that you never told us what to think, and instead you encouraged us to ask a lot of questions. That approach made us feel much more like active participants in your ministry and not merely recipients. You've deepened our faith and your impact will be felt for many years to come. Have a wonderful retirement. Congratulations on your retirement, Kathy. You know, you have many outstanding qualities. Two of them that I appreciate the most are your transparency and your great sense of humor. And that's no joke. Thank you for the terrific, thought-provoking, and challenging sermons that you've given us throughout the years. I am forever grateful to you for helping me grow in my spiritual life. 
Thank you for many wonderful memories. And I hope that you have an exciting and joyful and restful retirement. Kathy, I want to thank you so much for always saying yes and for always being inclusive and accepting to all. Thank you for helping me with my ministry of weddings. And I want to wish you all the best on your new adventure. Thank you. Kathy, you have inspired, challenged, and stimulated my understanding of God and a faith-filled life through your sermons and our conversations. I'm deeply grateful for you and the ways you have led us at LAMC with caring and good humor. Blessings on your retirement. May it be a time of new adventure and flourishing for you. With love. Kathy, I can't thank you enough for all of your support during this lonesome long year and uh, blessings. Kathy, we want to tell you how much we've enjoyed having you as our pastor. Thank you for your wonderful sermons and thank you for the wonderful blessing that tells us to go out in the world and be brave. And thank you for the talk you gave about your new life. I loved seeing where you will be and I hope you have fun with your retirement and use that lap pool and thank you for baptizing our two newest grandchildren nate and evie piper thank you very much pastor kathy it's a little difficult for me to compose uh, this message of all the things that i know we would be talking about if we were having coffee together in conversation i'd love to be able to put that together but Maybe someday I'll have the opportunity to do that together with you. But I just want you to know that you have served our ministry in marvelous ways and you've made an indelible impression on my heart. I wish you the best in your retirement. Godspeed. Hi, Pastor Kathy. I just wanted to thank you for everything and most especially for the sermon you gave on Easter 2017. And that sermon, along with the conversation church that this church had, brought me to this church as my home. So thank you. And I've loved being here and I still love being here and we're definitely gonna miss you. Oh dear, here come my tears. <laughs> um, so I wanna wish you all the best as you move forward into your future and know that you will always be in my heart and I'm sure in all the all of our hearts um, as we think fondly on the time that you were here. So God bless. Hello there. Eight years ago, a new minister came to Campbell United Methodist Church, Kathy McShane. I was inspired immediately by your sermons because I really felt like you were speaking to my heart. After three years, the bishop decided that you should go to LAUMC and reside there. Of course, I was very disappointed, but was glad to hear that you were going only 20 minutes from my house. And so I was thrilled that I could follow you there. On Mondays, between 12 and one, to me is a sacred time. I always look forward to BBB, Brown Bags and Bibles, because I know I'm going to learn. I'm going to, in, um, I'm going to be inspired from your words, by the poems that you read, and by what others um, are saying about the particular lesson. I've never read so many books that you have recommended and I feel like I've definitely learned a lot from them. I've invited you to go on picnics and come to our house for dinner and also for lunch, and you've accepted all of my invitations. I really felt a closeness, and I really appreciate you being so real today, as always, about your life, that you are human like the rest of us, and that you have ups and downs. I really appreciate that about you. I wish you the very best in your new chapter of your life. I know that you're going to be inspiring to the whole world as you have been to so many others throughout the world. I wish you the very best. 
And may God bless you and may your heart be set on fire for the rest of your days. God bless you. This is Nan Caldwell. Pastor Kathy, I'll never forget you. I love the way you always deliver your sermons. You always give me a smile at the beginning and the end of every service. I'll never forget you and I'll always be with you in heart and in spirit. Thank you for all you do for the community and the church. Thank, Thank you, Pastor Kathy. We'll miss you. Good luck in your retirement. We'll miss you a lot. Dear Kathy, I wanted to simply say thank you for being the warm and wise answer to our prayers, for bringing the water that our parched land was craving when you arrived. Thank you for continuing to listen through the years to everything happening around us in the world, and there was a lot. For considering it all thoughtfully and helping us to gracefully and sometimes not so gracefully navigate through. Thank you for your wise, thought-provoking sermons that were seemingly written to each of us personally, for speaking to our hearts through yours, and for leading us toward introspection and growth, not only in our faith, but personally as human beings. These last two years have tried our souls. I can't even imagine how difficult it has been for you to keep your smile, your head, and your heart focused on this huge flock and not simply say, this is too hard. But you did. And we are so grateful to you and your team that you persevered. Continuing to be there for all of us in new and innovative ways and always keeping the light on for us at the end of the tunnel. Thank you. You have been a gift to all of us. And while I wish I could continue to unwrap it again and again, to learn more, to hear more, to be in awe more, I am thrilled for you that you now get to Take the time to discover what is next in your life and jump into that experience with all that being Kathy means. The future is always a bit of a mystery, but I know that your story is simply starting a new chapter. And I am so thrilled that you will keep writing it. I feel so blessed to have been a part of your story and I hope that the chapters waiting to be written bring you great love and restful peace. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing all of you and all that you are with all of us. We have been truly, truly blessed. I love you. Pastor Kathy, we wanted to congratulate you on your retirement, well-deserved, well-earned, you have led our church through five, six years of very difficult challenge, and you've made us all change makers. Thank you, and may God richly bless you in your retirement. We have loved the, your use of poetry in your preaching and in your ministry, and Bonnie has one to share with you from John O'Donohue. It's from the book, To Bless the Space Between Us. For retirement, this is where your life has arrived. After all the years of effort and toil, look back with graciousness and thanks on all your great and quiet accomplishments. You stand on the shore of new invitation to open your life to what is left undone. Let your heart enjoy a different rhythm when drawn to the wonder of other horizons. Have the courage for a new approach to time. Allow it to slow until you find freedom to draw alongside the mystery you hold and befriend your own beauty of soul. 
now is the time to enjoy your heart's desire to live the dreams you've waited for, to awaken the depths beyond your work and enter into your infinite source. Blessings on you, Pastor Kathy, and thank you for everything you've done for us. Okay, Kathy, we're going to miss you big time, but I want you to have the most happy and most wonderful, meaningful uh, retirement. I'm hoping that you will have many surprises that are make you really happy and uh, makes your brain and thought processes blossom and flourish. And I hope you have a really juicy time. See you. Bye-bye. Hi, Kathy. It's Priscilla. I've been thinking a lot in this last week about what I'd want to say to you in a video and it comes down to um, trying to understand what it is that our connection has been, what has drawn me to you. I first met you uh, coming about a year and a half ago was my first introduction to LAUMC through the grief group. My husband had passed away and you and Dave Beg Beggs were facilitating the group. and. That's when I realized, it, or had the first realization that there was this connection. And what draw me, drew me to you and has continued to draw me to you is your honesty. Your very uh, openness about setting your ups and downs with your own faith journey and your own life. And I think that has made it uh, okay for me to say, I've had a lot of ups and downs, probably as far as my faith journey, more downs than ups but you've made it okay and a safe place for people to talk about that and to admit it because you've been through it too. I just want to tell you, and it's thank you is not enough. It just isn't enough, but it's, we're limited with our human ability to, to, to say gratitude, to express gratitude. But I want you to know that you have made a permanent change in my life. It really, uh, at a time when I needed to put some form around my faith and how I felt, you have helped me put that form and I will be eternally grateful to you. I wish you the very best. You deserve nothing less and have fun in your next phase. Rick and Valerie Arneson wishing you a wonderful retirement. We'll miss you, Kathy. We will indeed. Your well-crafted sermons, thoughtful and thought-provoking. Your powerful benediction. Your shining grace and wisdom. May your retirement be happy, healthy, and blessed. We love, we love you. you. Unlike a lot of people, I didn't grow up in this church. I was a relative newcomer, and I showed up thinking that the Bible was just a set of arbitrary stories that had no meaning or bearing on the real world. Pastor Kathy, you taught me with every one of your sermons, that the Bible really does have a bearing on my day-to-day -day life, and that really helped me start my faith journey. And I thought, I really appreciate that, and good luck in retirement. Pastor Kathy, thank you so much for all you've done for LAUMC over the last five years. I hope you have a wonderful retirement. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for all you have done as senior pastor at LAUMC, especially your amazing sermons. We wish you so much happiness in this next chapter of your life in the vineyard. We'll we will miss, miss you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, Pastor Kathy. This is Katrina and Toby and Faith Waters. And we just want to wish you all the best on your retirement and say thank you for everything that you've done for LAUMC. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, for reminding me that I can trust my calling. It allows so much more room for God to guide my life. I will really miss your beauty, your wisdom, and your honesty at church. But I am certain that Bill and I will come and visit you in your new home and support you in developing a wonderful new life. I just want to remind you, make sure you take time to play. Love you, Kathy. Kathy, when I first heard you speak at church, I recognized that you are an important person in my life. You are a great writer and great speaker. But most of all, you are a great teacher for me. You have helped this multi-religious, 
person integrate Christianity into my life as an important tract in my understanding of God. You explain things that had troubled me in ways that I could understand and accept. I look forward to continuing to learn from you and support you as you go on to make great changes in this world. Thank you. Kathy, this is New Covenant and I wanting to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.